host, KB. Please help me welcome your guest host, Mr. Mike Randolph. Hey, it's your man, Tight Mike, and I'm guest hosting for James Yon today. He's off trying out for the Jamaican bobsled team. Good luck, brother. <laughs> and we had a little black girl magic, man, to make this thing exciting for you today. Sister KB, how are you? I am good. Glad to be in the number one more time. <laughs> Glad to be in that number <laughs> one more time. Speaking of the number, uh -huh. it was a pleasure visiting your church yesterday. Thank you so much for coming. The guest pastor was a little long-winded, though. Yeah, he did close the message about 14 times, but to God be the glory. <laughs> but I always love, he did take a long time. But I always love visiting your church because you do church announcements. I do. And yesterday he was so long, I didn't even get a chance to do it. You know what, KB? Since your congregation often watches our show, we're going to give you an opportunity, sister, Th to do it again. I appreciate it because I got that? something to tell them. Give us a little something. Saints, one and all. Easter is quickly approaching. Deacons, we love you. But please do not come in here with all them brightly colored Easter suits. <laughs> Ain't no need of nobody walking around looking like bottles of Fabuloso. <laughs> we ain't doing it this year. Purple Fabuloso. Purple and red and that, that nice blue and all of that stuff. That, that's just God ain't pleased with it. <laughs> they do the whole rainbow for Easter. Huh? <laughs> that's because they don't come all the time. Exactly. They're... Trying to show out. Yes, yes. Just embarrassing. <laughs> Nevertheless, the children's ministry is back up and running. If your child got a long hanging bottom lip, please don't bring them to children's church. Oh. Research have shown that they bad as the devil and they don't do nothing but eat up all the other little children's snacks. We don't want them there. <laughs> they bad. The children with the long hanging lip. When the lip just hang down like, just for no up, reason. They eat up all the snacks? All the little crackers and cheese and things. <laughs> the Kids they... can't. It's critical. <laughs> it's critical. <laughs> My baby got the never mind. Just go in and go in. I'm sorry. I love you, Mike, but if your baby got a long hanging bottom lip, I don't want to be greedy. Sure. greedy. You're right, though. We are asking all wheelchair ushers to please be here next Saturday at 9 a.m. The deacons will be installing anti lock brakes in your spokes to avoid all future wheelchair pile ups. <laughs> now, see, you don't know about this, but last Sunday was a critical situation. What? They all came rolling in at the same time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it was just a big wheelchair pile up going what? into the choir stand. We can't have that. Well, the, the fact that y'all taking some notes and actually going to put anti lock brakes anti -lock on them. Anti lock brakes on them. Church for everybody. Everybody. I love it how y'all help, help the folks. Anybody we can help. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, yes. we will be having a potluck this Wednesday after Bible study. Sister Ruthie <laughs> and Sister Virginia, we love you, but please bring all unopened and store-bought items. <laughs> The last time we was on a Zoom call, we saw some little brown things running up your wall and they had more than two legs. Now, I ain't the one to gossip, but the street committee said those are called roaches. We don't want nothing from your house. Ah, man. These are your church announcements. We don't want nothing from the house. <laughs> so please bring a canned item. Yes. A uh, Ziploc bag. Ziploc item. bag. What? As long as it's store bought, we'll take it. Wow. So when y'all was zooming, you happened to notice some stuff. In it the was background. just a few of them running up, you know, and we was a little skeptical about what it was. But the street committee said those are called roaches. <laughs> street committee. <laughs> Wow. Hey, thank you, Sister KB. Hey, it's your man, Tight Mike. You're in for a great show. Comedian Ryan Roberts was here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, guys, welcome back. It's your man, Tight Mike Randolph, guest host for James Yon. He's off in a pie counting contest today for some reason, but that's all right. We sprinkled a little black girl magic in on the show today to help you enjoy yourself. Sister KB, how are you? Holding on. Yeah, holding, holding on. Holding on. Oh, man, those church announcements was amazing. Don't miss the rest of them. <laughs> Don't miss the, Don't rest, miss the of rest of them. Hey, man, thank you again for stopping by and hanging out with us. We're going to have a great time today. It is time right now, though, for my favorite segment. Ladies and gentlemen, how about some tips from Tight Mike? Tips from Tight Hey, keep 
keep in mind, this is for entertainment purposes only. This is the portion that I love, Sister KB. So do I. Yes! <laughs> I give folks relationship advice. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it hurts, but it's all the time funny. It's give us our first one. Let's see. Dear Tight Mike, mm -hmm. I'm so confused. <laughs> I spent well over $500 for Valentine's Day. It's two weeks later, and my girl says she doesn't see a future in us. That's some junk. I feel used and mistreated. Where has all the love gone? It's only been two weeks. Help! Sign Mr. Casanova with no coins. <laughs> Mr. Casanova with no coins. Where has your love gone? Oh, it's going to the mall. It probably went to the beach. Uh, probably <laughs> bought us some jewelry. Probably gave some money to the kids, too, man. Your love is gone in two weeks. Valentine's Day is over. You should have bought a teddy bear half off on Friday, like I try to tell people. But hey, you learned your lesson. Going forward, date somebody twice your age, get twice the love, and half they check. How about that? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie now. She could have bought some eggs with it, because you know, eggs about $500. She might have just bought some eggs yeah, with it. Yeah, you gotta too. have a little compassion. <laughs> Who's our next question from? Dear Tight Mike, my man is really getting comfortable. I mean, really getting comfortable. He expects me to share half of my tax refund. First of all, None of them are his kids. Now, he pays some bills and he help out around the house. But we ain't married. Should I share? Help sign Miss What's Mine is Mine. <laughs> Miss What's Mine it's is mine. not always yours, ma'am. He helping out <laughs> with them kids. Help him help you help us. How about that? If he paying some bills and helping out with the kids, part of that. Money is his. How about you do this if you want to be smart? Pay his portion of the bills with the money you got from that third or fourth child. All right? Don't ball out by yourself. Share the love. Uh -uh. Sharing is caring, KB. It ain't that much caring, Mike. <laughs> them kids ain't his. <laughs> he paying the bills. He feeding them. He helping them with the, all the baths and stuff. I don't know. All right. Who's next? Let's see. Dear Tight Mike, mm -hmm. I've been getting special gifts at my desk for a couple of weeks now. Mm. Mm -hmm. No name, just secret admirer. Everyone at work denies knowing who it is. I'm getting the good stuff, too. Cigars, gift cards, fruit baskets. <laughs> my first guess was my wife. But what if it's not? Man, this is tricky. Help, signed Mr. Happily Married. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Happily Married. Uh, you won't be if it ain't your wife giving you them gifts. <laughs> you it's kind of a tough situation because if it is your wife, then she probably wants you to say something to her. But if it's not your wife and you say something to her, then you're in trouble. Either way, you're in trouble both ways. Tell you what you do, man. Go home and say, hey, I've been receiving these gifts and watch your face. If she gives you the mm-hmm, they for me, I wonder if you was going to say it, then you did it right. If she gives you the mm-hmm, they made for me, say, I ain't know who it was. It was just a trick, baby. I just wanted to see if you still love me. <laughs> now, that's some good advice, Mike. Yeah. I like that one. That one good. That's good. Now, mm -hmm. dear tight Mike. Yes. I won two tickets to Jamaica in a raffle at work. Mm. Well, let me be honest. My work bestie fixed the drawing so I could win, but nobody knows that. <laughs> now, my question is... Should I take my husband or make it a girl's trip with the bestie? Five days and four nights. I can already feel the water between my toes. Help. Sign, Mrs. I'm a great wife and a great friend. Uh-oh. I am a great wife. And a great friend. And a great friend. And a person who's in need of a job. Because when they find out you're already the contest, you're going to be so fired. Go ahead and take the trip. Take your girl. Normally, I would say take your man. Take your girl. Your girl? This is going to be their last trip together. <laughs> you're going to keep your husband, but your friend, y'all going to need this time together to talk about where you're going to work next. Yo, it's good <laughs> and quiet. <laughs> Best friend rigged it. Five day, four night, you rigged it? Oh, yeah. That's it for y'all. Good luck to you, though. Um, in the job line, because you're going to need one, KB. I agree. Yes. I agree. Now, would you and your, would you do that with your friend? <clears throat> um, let me see. Probably not. I would take my <laughs> husband. But in this case right here, oh, girl, she got a true friend. <laughs> she got they done travel down the road <laughs> and back again. <laughs> As always, I try to help. I hurt your relationship. Either way it goes. Hey, <laughs> having a great time right here on The Lowdown, man. Coming up next, funny man Ryan Robinson will be in the building, baby. You don't believe he's funny? Check out this clip right here. Oh, ooh, this microphone just is, is smell and it just touched my lip. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's when I break out. It ain't gonna be funny. I'm just about to mess up my eczema. Jesus Christ. 
You got what I'm talking about. Lord have mercy. Uh, mm, you ain't never seen nobody wipe off a microphone. Just, just, you probably need to put it back in here so we have a safe show. Jesus. <laughs> yes, and we're back, and we still black. How about that? <laughs> Ty Mike just having a good time right here on The Lowdown. Coming up next, our special guest, comedian Ryan Robinson from Tampa, Florida. Come on, welcome into The Lowdown stage. Yeah. I see you, I see you looking see like you're looking. You see that? <laughs> Hey, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Can't squirrel for Tampa. <laughs> Doing it for Tampa. First time on over. TV two weeks ago, Funny Not Famous, and you already acted a little different, bro. <laughs> I'm highfalutin. Highfalutin. I'm fancy. Has TV, <laughs> has TV changed your life at all, sir? <laughs> I mean, a couple more promoter calls, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah getting, getting booked in places that normally people don't go, but I mean, it's cool. Right. Yeah, I'm the man in Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> you the man in Mobile. What? Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, doing it big. <laughs> what? Doing it big. Everybody know me, Haines City. I'm famous in Haines City. <laughs> at, the, at the Strawberry Fest. What? At the Strawberry Fest. That's a fun. Now That's that, fun. my friend, is funny. <laughs> uh, I know this wasn't your first television appearance on Funny Not Famous. Did you do BET Comic View? I was as an alternate. So, okay. uh, <laughs> so you was kind of there. No, so everybody saw me. They called my phone. They said, yeah, we saw you in the audience. Oh, wow. wow. Right. So and this is your first me, one. Yeah, first they one. made me sit through like 10 shows. They were like, if somebody missed a flight, yeah. you know what I'm saying, we'll call you up. It ain't ha never happened. So, But I was in like, every time they went to commercial break, uh -huh. they saw me in the audience. <laughs> So uh, I was on BT, but kind of. This was your first one. Yeah, this was my first Congratulations. Clap it up for him. Congratulations, sir. Yeah. Representing yeah. the great city of Tampa Bay. Yeah, now, my huh? question for you now, of course, you've been traveling the country a little bit now, man, doing different things. What's something uh, that you really admire now that your name is getting bigger and you're traveling around the country? What do you see differently? Man, look, it's just, it's, it's, the, it's the journey and the grind. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times you just get to these comedy shows and... You know, back when I was just, just going to comedy show, before I started doing comedy, I never thought about what the comedian was going through. You know, a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of times, like, you just never know. Comedians, they got to do their thing at 8 o'clock regardless. Stomach could be hurt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, they can have an eczema breakout. <laughs> yeah. like, don't nobody care. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Death in the family. Right. Mama going through something. Dad mm -hmm. going through something. Dad going... <laughs> nobody cares. You just got to be funny. So, I mean, it's yeah. just, you just got to be funny, like, no matter what's, what you're going through. And, right. like, now... Nowadays, with everything going through in, in the, the, the news, you know, social media, mm -hmm. hey, it, it's a lot. It's di different from like 20 years ago. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? Like when we, when we started this thing, yeah, yeah. 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 Gas different. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so the promoter might pay you one thing, but just to get there it might be that one thing. You need to add that fee down. <laughs> Bruh. You need that Bruh. tip and that, travel, that, that lodging that, fee now. Hey, man, good times I had with you, man. Great time. I got a chance to host your show, which was phenomenal, man. You did a great job. You and B-Flat, of course. Yes. Uh, my, my main man uh, from over there, too, my man Jay, he was he was very good as well. Yeah. And Demetra George, she was on that show. Yeah, yeah. shouts out to Tampa Bay's Demetrius yeah. George, too. Yeah. She was very fun. Did you yeah. yeah. that thing, too, yeah. KB? Yeah. This is what I want to ask you, man. Often comedians have an opportunity to go and eat different places, man. People are, oh, you funny, and this, and that, and that, and this. Around the country, what's the best food you've eaten? And where? Man. Well, look. <laughs> like, like, I, I said man like that because, like, people that, that know me, like, I'm greedy. Like, I'm, I'm right. a different type of greedy. That's like, why I actually that Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody that sees me like, you're supposed to be 500 pounds. You and Lavelle right. Crawford supposed to be the same size. I'm like, <laughs> put that on me, Jesus. <laughs> Shout out to Lavelle Crawford. Super funny. Yeah. Funny dude. I met him a yeah. long time ago, early in my career. Mm -hmm. But, uh, man, the best, well, that's hard. Yeah. You know, because a lot of times... Look, when we do comedy shows, I'm like, I'm, I'm in your city and I'm out. So, right. And, and I, I really just told myself that because I do a lot of uh, cities that I wouldn't normally, you won't normally go to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like two days ago, I was in Fort Myers. I mean, ain't Plies don't go to Fort Myers and he from there. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> just right. Keep it real with you. Right. So, I mean, so I've been trying to, to, to just, you know, do that a little bit more. But I'm going to just have to say, like, you know, my city, I mean, I... That's the best thing you ever ate was in town. Bruh, I mean, you what know. What was it, though? You know, you know what? No, what? No. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? So, what was? But it sounds so like cliche as because ooh, I spit when I said that. You, you saw that? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Save me, brother. Save I said me. cliche. <laughs> um, um, how you pronounce it? Uh, Papados. 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 Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah. That's good stuff. Pa Papados in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Seafood. Yeah, it's, I'm a seafood person. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. If I was allergic to it, I'm like, look, I've got epi EpiPen in, my, in the car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm gonna risk it all. Yeah. It's, a, it's an upscale seafood, Mike. Yes, that, that, it ain't what we used to. Right, it's upscale. It's seafood. upscale. You're Don't do that. Right. Come on now. She say you changed since you no. been on TV. 
And since, hold on, let me let me uh, cross my leg like I chain now. <laughs> and since we do have Black Girl Magic in the building today, yes, we do. Uh, Sister KB, do you have a question for Young Ryan Robinson here? Hey KB, why Papa Dose? It was just good. They, let me say a word that I can't spell. The ambiance was nice. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was just real good. And like like people in Tampa say, that was a, a, a fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Not a see, fight. Would, let I, me tell you, I would think that you would say one of them little hole in the walls down there in Tampa. That be the best eating right now. Man, now. if they gave me free food, I would have promised I would have said it. I, you glowing Ooh. different. Now, been on TV, you glowing a little different. No. Doing it big. Doing it big. Hey, man. I know you're funny. We want the folks at home to know you're funny as well, man. Can you tell the folks what your social media is? Yeah, so my Instagram is funnyryan813, Facebook, Ryan Robinson. Hey, man, good job. And it was a pleasure having you on Funny Not Famous, man. You did Thank a great you, job, man. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, for my guest, Ryan Robinson, I'm Tight Mike Randolph. And as always, Sister KB in the building. We'll see you next time on The Lowdown, right here on Afro. Good time. Yes, sir. so much yeah. mike they love us they are prepaid they sir. all right nice there you go yeah. i will pay you back sure never but all thank right. you sure.